Military personnel from California, both men and women, are putting their lives at risk every day in Afghanistan and Iraq. At home, Assembly Democrats are working to respect and honor them with a package of bills focused on protecting the rights of military personnel and their families. One of the bills, AB7, authored by Assembly members Ted Lieu and Lori Saldana, seeks to protect military personnel from predatory lenders by limiting the interest rates they can be charged to 36 percent. Excessive financial stress, or the stress being placed by short-term lending products on our military, is both a quality of life and a combat readiness issue, and it's a growing problem. A survey by the Defense Power Data Center shows that between September 2005 and September 2006, 13 percent of the naval personnel based in California used predatory loans where interest rates can surpass 1,000 percent and cost military families more than 80 million dollars in yearly fees. Another bill, AB 696 by Assemblymember Ed Hernandez, seeks to ensure that state workers sent into combat can keep their hazardous duty pay instead of returning that money to the state as current law mandates. If you are a state worker, that if you go and serve our country in a overseas in battle and then when you come back that you should not be faced with a bill from the state of California and that the state of California should be supporting you as a United States citizen serving our country. Other bills in the Assembly Democrats package include AB 581, which seeks to create a combat stress support team program in California. Also, AB 392, which would allow the spouse of a member of the armed forces home on leave to take up to 10 days of unpaid leave with job protection. And AB 1528, which would prohibit any person or group marketing financial services to suggest that they are affiliated in any way with the military. Supporting our troops and supporting families of these troops is absolutely the right thing to do. Uh, they're really the heroes of today who are uh, going ahead and uh, risking their lives for this country. This report brought to you by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.